James, yeah, let's go. James, congratulations, mate. Win number 16. And arguably, not only your best opponent, but also your best performance, mate. Yeah, it was um, it was textbook from the start with Ant and John, what they put, told me to do. I know there was times where I was saying to Ant, do you think I should push forward a bit more now? And Ant said, listen, you're boxing him, just working. There's no point in, in putting um, putting more pressure on yourself. You're just, you're just killing it. So, stuck with the boxing, stuck with what the lad says and look what happens. <laughs> Anthony, what yes. did you feel about that, mate? Did he listen to no, instructions? Um, yes, yeah, he did listen to instructions. Uh, <laughs> super proud of him. You know, he um, he picked his shots lovely <coughs> at times today, and I say all the time, you know, James might have had 16 professional fights, but he didn't have an amateur background, and that, you know, that counts right, so he's learned on the job. Are you allowed to mention white colour? Um, well, we can do. No, he's shown a lot of maturity in there, because, you know, he fought a very game lad there in Chico, and, and I thought, you know, he, he, boxed, he boxed to the plan perfect. There was times when, you know, he probably wanted to come away from it, but I just didn't want to, you know, sort of give Andy that chance, yeah. sort of to level the fight up. Um, I thought what he was doing, I thought what he was doing was great, and super proud of him. Thank you, Andy. Who told him to throw those uppercuts? Not me. No, <laughs> no, no, yeah, no, no we've, we've been, been, uh, we've been working roll. off the uppercut yeah. and roll, and that's yeah. what I think he had to do because he was looking. You know, I was watching Andy and he's got a good left hook and he looks to counter off yeah. that. So after the uppercut, he had to come out low and he'd done that. And when he did do that, like, it worked really well. Did you, well, like I say, I, I was really proud of him because not only was it beautiful punch selection, but his movement was fantastic yeah. in there. And again, you know, that jab of yours yeah. was a wonderful jab and when used correctly as it was well, tonight. I'll, I'll, be sure. Sorry. Go on. I'll be honest to you, I was surprised if Andy's size. I knew he was coming up from his, his four yeah. ways before him. I wouldn't say, no offence to him, I wouldn't say his punching power was, was, was fantastic, but I felt like his size and his shoulder, like he, he physically, got, yeah, he got in, it. it was like got in angles and his best shot with his, with his scoop to the body, which was like borderline low, be honest, and obviously he got away with it a few times, it was a great shot, but I know I, got, I, know I got tied up a few times and I, I, I was nearly reverted back to the old ways, but like I said, I know John. I, I, know, I know the scorecard was 80-72, yeah. right? it was a, a, a yeah. fine performance by himself, but uh, as you said before, Chico did play his part. Yeah, he played his part, and listen, the 80-72, which, which I agreed with, didn't reflect didn't reflect Chico's performance whatsoever, but that was just down to you know how well James well, boxed. Which, is, which was so good for James, because of he course. needed a performance like that, of and he needed someone did. like and James with his record the, to bring that out. The most pleasing thing for me with that with James is that's eight good quality rounds, so I think next year, you know, you look at your central area titles, just like that, or 10 round title fights, that's the perfect kind of gauge, you know, yeah. to, the perfect kind of fight to prepare you for that. You know, Chico gave him something to think about, but um, James Sean there is ready to step up to that. And considering we are now what close to two o'clock in the morning, so that yeah, fight, never that fight must have been about ten past one when he finished. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. congratulations. And I'm on the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well done. Thank I you, say man. win number sixteen. No bell, no title this time. I know they should have been a bell. I'm good to. Yeah, next time like that will be the bell, case. But uh, hopefully, yeah, we, we make that happen. Next Steve. Time. The big boss man over there, he might be able to win that. There you go, yeah. There you go. <laughs> no, one, one sec, no, one sec. I've had three away shows now, so I'm hoping Steve Woods can put me on a little title on his own show <laughs> because I think I deserve it. And I'll sell 250 tickets as well if he does that for me. Was your last fight not home? It was, but it went for a title, Steve. And you got it. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Bye. Thank you. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.